and hello everyone here we are for another episode on Okai Star Rail. So, first of all I forgot to do this last episode. Okay, good. Okay. Hmm. That's about the venturing. That's a clue that he's gonna return. Anyways, let's begin. Boss fight. That marked the seventh day. Cheers and chants reverberate in your ears. Oh, I am playing okay. I thought that was a cutscene. I cannot move the camera with my mouse. Jesus. Of course I'm gonna be looking for chests. Uh, they don't let you climb from here. Ah, lame. everything related to the order what are your reflections on this my dear guests you're nuts nevertheless this is but a trivial blip in the annals of galactic history what truly matters is the course this river shall take in the days to come you've arrived at the perfect moment the charmony festival is about to commence and it would be a shame if you were absent for the Harmony's prologue. Allow me to extend my warmest welcome once more. Welcome to Penacony Theater. The very core of the sweet dream. The abode of the Stellaron. Mm -hmm. The grand stage of the Charmony Festival. And the very place where the future of Penacony shall be determined through conflict. That's just stupid. He's gonna get the stellar on and be a boss. Right? Your unwavering faith in the trailblaze is truly there you go, bitch. Shut up. True goodness can only be achieved through faith. Mm. Allow me to point out that falling into a permanent slumber is not happiness, especially when those people are driven by someone else's will in their sleep. Do you still believe that the order only seeks to control the universe as their puppet, Himiko? No matter how perfect your vision of paradise may be, a cage remains a cage. People will never achieve true happiness in a world like that. They would just be toys for the eon. He's not saying that. It seems you have misunderstood my intentions. Allow me to clarify. No. My desire is not to resurrect a fallen eon or become one myself. Hmm. Tess. My sole objective is to create a paradise free from eons, where the order ensures the dignity and happiness of all humanity. A paradise exclusive to us human beings. That's not the case. If people are to live with dignity, there must be nothing and no one above them. In your so-called paradise, you would be the one reigning supreme. Ah! Looks like we won't be able to convince each other. Now that our conflict has been destined, let's unveil our path. No arguments. Reveal to the universe the true path. However, before the prelude to the future begins, please take a moment to ponder the questions I've posed. Is darkness equal to daylight? Are sinners equal to the righteous? <laughs> 
If you are born weak, which god should you turn to for solace? So low. Okay, better. Oh, because they were talking, okay. Time to say bye. Boom. SAS Perkippi. You have a chance to miss the target, but it's okay. As long as it's not this one, I'm fine. Knowledge, the measure of truth, and falsehood. The dice have been cast. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Wrong target. Just in time. If you wonder why am I missing my target, it's because of... Oh my god, that fucks up my light cone on ratio. Because of the attack item I had. I'll show you. Yeah, that. Increase attack by 60, but there is a small chance to select the wrong target when using abilities. Don't need to use the skills, so let's just... Uh, with Kafka, it should break. If I hit this one. If. Who should I want to use the skill? Kafka and Ratio, so I'm gonna use the normal attack on this one. Trigger Ratio. It's gonna be a tough fight. Instead of uh, Black Swan, I should have picked Emiko. I wasn't expecting this, I was expecting one boss. <clears throat> the right one should break, yep, indeed. Good. I forgot about him. Hmm. Uh. Good times. Time I attacks like this cannot miss. Boom. You eat all targets, so good. Take some time, but I should be fine about that. My my characters are not taking damage. I could almost let this on auto auto target. Please. Oh, one HP. Unlucky. Destiny isn't chosen. Hmm. SAS Perkippi. Knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. As long as it's not the middle one, it's okay. Characters basically didn't took them as it was just a bit on Adventure and Black Swan, so should be doable. Hmm. 
What do you want to know? Uh. <laughs> Memories are beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. Say bye to breathing. <laughs> Good times. Never They're really out taking damage. That's good. Time to say bye. Boom. Got the friends. Who should I eat? This one is down. Me. Yeah, never mind. It's really risky if you're not not like sure that you're gonna fight just one target. And even with sixty percent bonus damage from the item still feel like I'm not doing that much <laughs> hmm I'm gonna get the shields now Should target the, the same one, but remember that this one can get damage by Kafka, not this one. It's on me. The dice have been cast. And there, I can just do this. Or never mind. Look at the size of the shields. It's okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna be playing with anything that randomizes my attacks anymore. <laughs> it's just too annoying. Ah, come on. Good time. Time to say bye. Boom. Okay. Good. 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 I already know. Your decision. I now permit you to gaze into the sun. On these 107,336 stones, the almighty and powerful streams of harmony are at my disposal. The supreme tuner, harmonious choir, the Minicus. Okay. Two fights in a row? Really? Every time you break a layer of an enemy, you gain certain collective shield. Okay. Okay. Oh wait! The effect ran out. Okay, that's good. Good? Because there is a multi-target enemy there. Stand still. What do you want to know? Don't think a single attack is enough to get my ult, but okay, it is. Go on, take damage. Kafka's ultimate is gonna be huge in there. Oh, whoa, whoa, chill! 
dice have been cast. Bust. Make I've got to carry it. That's not good. Now, do your thing. Good times never last. Boom. Time to say bye. Boom. I'm asking questions. <sighs> yeah. Gotta do this. His fall, uh, his basic attack is gonna trigger Kafka's basic um, follow up attack, which is gonna trigger Adventurin's follow up attack and break those two. So, do I need a shield? Don't think I really need a shield right now. So, I'm just gonna break him. And I got a shield because I broke him. And yes, I should have went with Imiko instead of Lex One. Do you know about that? I'm just focusing in whatever. Okay, Kafka is sleeping. Okay, follow up attack. What does this plus three means? No idea. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Watch your head. Did it mean that he has three Thavnus bars? Or it's the third one? Rasha should kill him. Thank you for the shield. Follow up attack. You should die from this because of Kafka. I have three points, I can do this. What now? The time has come. Creation will be reborn from the remains of the gods. Oh, right on time. And Jin Yuang. That was beautiful. And the perfect timing. Wait, what? Looks like your mind's still in one piece. If you're able to remember such details, well, that's reassuring. Uh, it's a long story. Uh, simply put, Don Hum used the Jade Abacus of Allying Oath when we were in the middle of a fierce battle and summoned the general to help us just in time. That I remember. Yeah. Everyone else has also returned from the dreamscape. He 
Himeko and the rest are at the lobby discussing matters with the general. And now that you're awake, we should tell the crew that you're all right. Come with me. Oh, it feels a bit too easy, but share the HP, okay? So the three puppets and this link mark because they share the same HP. Multi-layer thickness, okay. Anyways, we have multiple layer of thickness. Wait, what are they playing? Sparkle, Black Swan, is it Misha? I think yes. And you, whoa, whoa. Anyways, enemies with multiple layers of nodes will suffer an instance of break damage each time a layer of the class is reduced. The last layer is reduced to zero. The weakness break effect will trigger. Okay, so basically, it didn't. It doesn't take the weakness break effect until the last layer is destroyed. Voice. Is that Black Swan? Did I got an achievement for that? Guess it's going on the wrong target. Oh yeah, ha 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 Oh shit, I didn't thought it was possible! Ha! Ah! Uh, I might have fucked up the game. Because I saw a person there blocking the road. Oh, she was right in the middle of it. Oh my god. I thought I... I <laughs> hey, where are you going? Bro, shut up, hey, bitch. We meet again, sleepyhead. <laughs> what, what's Miss Black Swan doing here? Nothing, Miss March. I noticed he was awake and wanted to check to see how he was doing. Fine, saving your planet. From the general was timely. Its destruction was also immense. When emanators collide, ordinary people inevitably suffer. But, luckily for them, the dreamscape is my home turf. Thankfully, I managed <coughs> to get everyone out before the harmonious choir collapsed. Okay, thank you. Oh, so that's what happened! Uh, thank you, Miss Black Swan! Don't yeah, because she was with Unhung. I wouldn't want to see such precious memories vanish. You're heading to see your friends, aren't you? Would it bother you if I walked with you for a short while? Sure, oh, come. Of course not. But you're not planning on doing something like last time, are you? Like last time. Why would you think that? I've never harbored any ill intentions. Well, not when you are around, anyway. <laughs> Himeko and Mr. Yang are probably still busy. Let's go look for Don Hung first! Okay. The boss fight was a little easier than I thought. I wouldn't say completely easy, but... Look, he's still talking comparing to... Hmm. If you know what I mean. Wait, but Hill. Stellaron they were talking about. <coughs> uh, don't worry. He's been up and about for a while now. But hey, Don Hung, why don't you introduce this cowboy to him first? Oh my god. Allow me to introduce him to you. This is Boot Hill, a galaxy ranger. During our pursuit of a certain person, we crossed paths and just so happened to uncover a shocking plot being concocted by Mr. Sunday. Which is why we sought you out to help the Astral Express save the world together. No need for thanks. Now the Galaxy Ranger's principle is correct every injustice one sees. That's how you. Uh, more or less. Wait, hold on a sec. 
This is the first time I'm hearing about this certain person. Who are you chasing? And why would that lead you to the Express? <laughs> uh, good question. <laughs> it's, uh... uh... Don Ho, do you remember? No, oh, that ain't it. I just can't seem to recall. Weird. My neurochip hasn't registered any malfunctions. So he's a robot. It... Huh. I can't seem to remember either. Yeah, by the way, this part feels a bit rushed. So I believe the story will keep going. That would be weird to finish right now. Get about it. If it slipped all our minds, reckon that person was just a minor scoundrel. Unimportant. Ain't gonna stop us from piecing together the story. Anyhow. But by the way. Yes. When the dust settles, I'll just think of a way to recall it. In Wait. The Everyone the dream let's hurry up and look for Mr. Dream Master is still out there, by the way. He's now a minor star on and the entire hotel's concerned about his well-being. You're right. Let's head to the lobby then. <laughs> Look, they're with the Jin Yuang. All right. In these times of conflict for the sake of utmost safety, it is only right that the Alliance steps forward to mediate on behalf of the Astral Express. We must not allow you to take unnecessary risks. For By the way, the Shanzo's firepower, hmm. For success, it prioritizes peace above all. And the family, trapped though it may be, professes a desire for harmony. The Alliance has always won people over with reason. I firmly believe both parties can indeed put aside their differences and come to a peaceful agreement. The General possesses a deep understanding of the greater good. With the Sienjo Alliance mediating, peace for Penicone is within reach. <laughs> you flatter me. But ultimately, it's been all down to the Express. Without your efforts, this sweet dream paradise would have been claimed by the last remnants of order before there was even a shot at peace. Well, would you look at that? Here comes the big hero. <laughs> okay. If it isn't the galactic baseballer, a hero with unparalleled insight. Are you okay? I heard you couldn't wake up. Are you feeling unwell? Uh, don't worry, Mr. Yang. There is nothing wrong with him. He practically burned through a lifetime's worth of jokes on the way here. <laughs> what about you, Mr. Yang? I heard that even Miss Robin wasn't scared. And that guy locked you both up. Uh, it's... Uh... Long story, but at least Mr. Yeah, took it, easy. it wouldn't actually respect the order. He used an ability called tuning to connect our consciousnesses with his. In other words, he imprisoned us within his consciousness. Thanks to General Jing Yuan's destruction of the Harmonious Choir, we were able to escape. Uh, he used that tuning on us too. Does that mean that we were almost imprisoned as well? I can confidently say now. He was truly after a fair fight with us. Had he wanted, he could have easily taken us down. Without so much as lifting a finger. Speaking of the Oak family head, where is he now? <clears throat> it's complicated, but in a nutshell. He's now the former Oak family head. Mm -hmm. okay. The IPC has named him the key figure in the family's Pentacomi split, citing a threat to cosmic peace. He must represent the family and answer for the unrest caused. His trial is set to take place at Pier Point. 
The family quickly labeled him and the remnants of the Order as enemies, declaring the turmoil an internal rebellion. This move effectively barred the IPC from intervening in family affairs on both moral and rational grounds. Everyone really has their own agenda, after all. Mm -hmm. Then, what's going to happen to Miss Robin? She and Sunday won't be able to deny their involvement in the Charmony Festival. They're siblings, after all. <sighs> yeah, she's taking a, a little hit. This incident is an unexpected mess for the girl. Yeah. The Alliance will try to persuade the family to consider this matter carefully during mediation. It's time, everyone. The IPC's key members and I have agreed to consult one another before the upcoming negotiation. Do any of you wish to sit in? Given the General's invitation and the matter's significance to the universe, the crew will naturally accept. However, if the IPC has any reservations... Why, of course you're welcome. They've mentioned that your team is a trusted ally of the IPC in Pentacony. So ah, no in Pentacony. I thought so finally they would see us as allies. And no. If they can get money, they are our allies. If they can't, <laughs> we're pawns, right? What do you want? <laughs> well then, we shall oblige. I'm kind of allergic to those types of situations. I think I'll just head back to my room and start packing. Not to worry. Himiko and I will take care of things. I'm afraid I'll also have to return to the express first. The conductor is worried about us. It's best I go and explain the situation. Thank you. What about you, hmm? Will you join Welt and me? Or have you got other plans? Fire, fly, fire, fly. <laughs> Mommy Himiko banging her from behind when she's closing this, or hmm. No firefly, that's fucking bullshit. Come on, Mommy Himiko. <laughs> sure of the reason the representatives from the IPC have insisted on his presence what allow me to lead the way follow me please why the negotiation will commence at the hotel lobby everyone please follow me Where's the elevator? Okay, keep running. Do 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 do. Wait. Ah, there. Here they are. Who is it? Okay, we can see Topaz, Ratio. That blonde one looks like a Venturine. There, see? Ratio, Topaz, and who is this? Looks a bit like a Venturine now. Up, 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 up. Next episode, I'm gonna eat something. Guys, thank you one more time for being there with me for another episode on Okai Star Rail. We see each other for the next one. Till then, consider leaving a comment, a like on the video if you like it, or a dislike it if you didn't. But never forget about this. Stay the way you are. You're amazing. And see you guys.